How does it look in there, everyone? Thanks for helping me check out the inside of my camp stove. So I have a bit of a curveball for everyone. I'm gonna do something in this video that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Guys, I wanna head out and do some winter camping. I've got this beautiful property. And yes, I know a lot of you are gonna say, but Peter, you've got this cabin. Yes, the cabin's there, I'm gonna use it in future, but I also wanna do some winter camping. So all I had to do to round out my equipment is to go out and buy a hot tent. The hot tent's in that black bag in the sled that you see right there and I'm gonna head into the back acres, set it up right now, and then head out later in the day with the rest of my gear to finish setting up camp. And I definitely plan to spend the night overnight here at the Woodland Reboot in a hot tent. All right, let's get busy. So there is the one Tigris tent I bought. Bought that on Amazon. It's a very small setup. I think it's nine feet wide. Um, it's conical, meaning that it has a center post set up and it's got a uh, fitting for a uh, stove, stove pipe to go through the roof. To, in terms of tying the tent down, is that I've got some five and six inch lag bolts and I've got my drill driver. So the idea being to anchor the tent right into the frozen ground, but let's see how that unfolds as uh, setup continues. What I'm gonna do for the tent setup process, guys, is I'm gonna put you on time lapse. Uh, so here we go. pole has elastics, make it very easy for it to come together. Both ends are the same, identical ends. Um, you've got to have the right clothing to do it as well. So I have the right winter clothing, but the other key here is that everything's layered. So I've got snow pants, pair of pants under that, and long johns. Same up top here. I think I've got at least five layers on right now, and it's actually it's warm enough that I'm beginning to feel it right now. So I may have to take a layer off. The last thing you want to do is sweat under these types of conditions. I have a piece of, maybe that's half inch OSB board, you know, piece of garbage. That'll serve as a base for the pole to stand on. So let's get this open, crawl inside, and see if we can get this tent to come to life. Let's see if I've pegged it out too far or if I've got it just right for it to work. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see in there as I crawl in there, you're going to get a good shot of my butt. Right. This begins to take shape. Got a nice piece of reinforced material here at the piece. No one said it was going to be easy. Part of the fun part of the challenge here. If I do that, that might be a little bit too taut. Yeah, so you begin to get a good idea of what that space is like inside. It's not huge, uh, but let's get the rest of it pegged out and see how it looks. The kit also comes with these tie downs. Probably would have been smarter to attach these before I set up the tent, but it is what it is. It stays on, down around, and then tighten it. The tent is five foot two inches tall at the peak. I'm six feet, so it is gonna be a little bit snug in there. You buy these tents knowing what you're gonna get into. It's got nice little ties to keep the door open for you. It's 
Well, my goodness, is this even going to work? It is going to be snug in here. Well, I think, well, obviously, the stove goes over here, and then down this left side here, I'll put my cot the tarp in for the flooring. Now, obviously, you don't have to put a tarp in like this. I've just decided to uh, give it a shot. I've seen some people do it this way. There's the second load out here. I think I'll be able to get one more load and I'll be ready to go out here. Runs relatively okay, but heavy. So it's gonna be a bit awkward to get this in here. Okay, here's a bit of a test for this tent to see if this cot fits in here. That's the outside. All right. That is super snug. And I want to be able to work the fireplace from the bed in the middle of the night. That'll be good enough. Reach, toss. There we go. Again, this is a high temperature insulation. So I'm just using that to help protect the material there, even though it's supposed to be able to withstand heat. I've seen them melt. What else do I have on the goodie trail? Food, some pots and pans, of course. One of the sleeping bags. I've got two. That's an inflatable pillow. And this, of course, is the mat for the cot. Make a little bit more. And there's the, I don't know if you can see that, the sleeping bag rated for minus 22. We're expecting temperatures of maximum minus 10 tonight. So I think the sleeping bag will be more than good enough. I've got lots of layers, like I said earlier. Two sleeping bags will open up the second one and throw it over top if need be. With the stove going, I think I'll be okay in there. I'll try to uh, get the pipe to straighten up a bit there. If you get these tents, putting the stove inside definitely eats up a lot of space. And of course you have to remember that once the stove gets hot, essentially you've got to leave it at least a foot of space around it. So they do eat up the space. So I don't have any paper here. I've got... A lot of shavings. Try a little bit of that. These are the spruce pieces here. I do think this stuff will light up pretty quick. A little bit of light there. Alright, let's see if we get any success here. What we definitely have fire. Let's see if we can get that to draft here. I 
and just that I have, uh, unfortunately, bare, very bad lighting uh, for my night out here, winter camping. Nice little pile of wood. This stove is just throwing off heat. I've got it uh, shut down on low burn. Nice and toasty in here, actually too hot, so I'm trying to figure that out. I'm calling that my kitchen area there with my little cooktop. Um, who doesn't like Will Ferrell? Can everybody see that uh, cup? Now, it's tiny in here. I knew that when I bought the tent. What would be useful with tents like this is that I have two-way zippers, so open from the bottom and the top at the same time. So um, you really need that ability to increase the airflow. I mean, yes, there are these two vents up top, but it would be much better if that zipper could open at the top. Otherwise, uh, it's cramped, it's cozy, it's what I expected, and uh, much warmer than I expected. See, down there at my feet, at feet level right now, I've got about 15 degrees on that thermometer. Um, probably in my head, it's probably 24 or 25. So, it's, uh, I'm not going to freeze to death, that's for sure. Here's where the stovepipe exits the tent, and there's the uh, material the fire um, rated material and as you can see I've stuffed some fire rated insulation in there just to help with uh, protecting that material. Two things right off the bat this stove here is super hot like I mean super hot. Um, I'm just looking over top here I've got another little camp stove set up right there that you can see and I'm going to get underway in terms of just preparing a small meal. Um, for dinner tonight, I've brought some pea soup that I'm going to add some turkey, some turkey breast, and some vegetables. I, can't I do not have very good lighting as you can see, so I'll film as much as I can, and then I'm going to have to uh, pack it in on the filming just because the lighting is terrible. The tent is okay, it's very tiny. I've never been here this late in the day on my property. This is uh, a first for me. It's pea soup brand here in Canada, Habitant Pea Soup. Got a little, when I say that I've got a lot of stuff, guys, I've got a lot of stuff collected over the years. I mean, some of this camping gear goes back 20 and 30 years. So, I enjoy the opportunity to actually put it to use every now and then. I, I like it, enjoy camping. Never tried the winter camping. And at the end of the day, life and work get in the way of a lot of things, prevent you from doing some of the hobbies you enjoy. working. Don't want to burn anything. Alright. Anyways, I've got some frozen broccoli I'm throwing in. Into the pea soup. It wants to come out of the bag. There we go. And some turkey breast that I cut up at home. And we'll just let that heat up. Nothing special. see that everyone I'm gonna put this kettle the boil just outside the tent door in a few minutes we'll have some hot water and I can make some tea let's stir this up this is coming along nicely there's the pot the pea soup with the turkey and broccoli that should be pretty good and the stove is working quite well this stove here we bought uh, to camp at sites when we lived in London, UK. So the pot of tea is starting to boil out there. And again, that's just outside the door of the tent. There's the pea soup with turkey, broccoli, and uh, that's pretty much ready to go. Okay, again, guys, I don't know how well that uh, 
camera can see me right now, but um, yeah, the night went well. I was able to keep the fire going all night long. I probably had to stoke it and or add a log every, probably every hour and a half, which gives you an idea. Um, you are up often out here when camping like this. Um, this little operation does require uh, you to be awake a little bit. Let me close this door. And, um, yeah, you, you're up uh, stoking the fire, staying warm, but uh, overall went well. And uh, don't expect to get your best night's sleep if you come out here and give this a shot. All right, let's get up and get some breakfast. And you can see how much heat this little stove gives off. I was probably on about a six to eight inch bed of snow. You know, there's the, <laughs> the snow there and how that's all melted down around the area underneath the stove. Beautiful morning out here. It's about minus eight to start the day. Nice and cozy in here with the stove going. Doesn't bother me to have this flap open whatsoever. I'm inside the tent here. And we've got a nice sunrise coming up to start the day. Beautiful clear sky. I've got a thermometer, yes, I just bought it the other day and I've kept it in the wrapper. I'm gonna hang it on the cabin. But if I get in close there, it actually shows that it's about minus 10 Celsius and about 10 Fahrenheit. So it's a good, good crisp morning out here today. Like I've shown you already, beautiful sunrise. Looking for that to become a blue flame. It's getting there. I'll turn that down now, of course. I've just melted a bunch of snow and heated it up on the burner here. Uh, I've got myself a washcloth and boy am I ever looking forward to this. I'm sure the hair looks a little bit funny. And let's get that in there. Nice warm, oh that's beautiful. Put a little of this water in this cup to clean it out. Oh, that feels good. I believe it's six slices of bacon here. Turn that way down. And I'm going to put a couple pieces of bread on the other side here. I need my stove inside as well. Water is ready for the tea. If that's too hot or if I've got that just right. Hmm. Oh. It's the spot on a camping morning like this. 
bacon's coming along nicely, but I am running out of juice on this camera. Let's see how long this one lasts. This is going to taste quite good this morning. And there's just enough residual heat left in that stove to um, toast them up mildly, but toast them up nonetheless. I've got a slice of cheese if I can get it off of here. One well cooked egg. Let that cool a little bit. Okay everyone, I'm back in my tent. I've got my egg, cheese, bacon sandwich. I've got a great cup of tea. Beautiful out here in the morning. If you do uh, give this a shot everyone, uh, it is a bit of work. This is the buddy heater that I didn't use. The stove was beautiful all night long. It is a bit of work like I was just saying. So uh, be ready for quite a bit of effort. Good things take a bit of effort. All right, everybody, that was a lot of fun. It's time to head back up to the red barn in the front of the property. And uh, I'm gonna get my batteries charged, do a little work in the car, and then probably uh, stick around, groom this cross-country trail again, but also do some work on the cabin. Okay, let's head back up.